Notion is powerful because it can connect one database to another, making it seem like all information, projects, and resources are related. I use Notion as my second brain, both a knowledge management system and a productivity system. For this video, we'll first examine the all-in-one place. This is where I mainly go to decide my priorities and what to do for the day. At the top is an inbox view, allowing me to quickly capture anything while surfing the internet or come up with new ideas or to-dos in the middle of another project. I can easily switch between tab views to capture the relevant info. An inbox is reliable when it enables fast capture, so I can clear my mind for what I'm doing. When I have time, I can visit my inbox to process each item and organize it. The next is an areas database. This is the overarching database in my second brain setup. All my goals and projects fall below my areas. I can see a progress bar that indicates the completion of my active projects, and I can choose to see either goal progress or project progress, or both. Next is a board view of my goals organized by quarters. Seeing my goals for each quarter reminds me of my top priorities and whether I'm headed in the right direction. Following this is a projects and tasks view. The projects are in a gallery view, showing the completion of the project based on the number of completed tasks. I can switch between tab views to view the relevant projects under each status. I use this filtered status view for projects, so I won't be distracted by other projects and can focus on what is already in progress. The tasks section has several views, and it's my favorite part of the system because of how easily I can drag and drop my tasks. If a task is in my overdue view, I can easily drag it to today or tomorrow to reschedule it. There's also a recently completed view, which is useful for me because I sometimes accidentally check off my task and can easily drag and drop it back to the right place. The timeline view for tasks is also helpful for knowing what's coming up this week and makes it easy to reschedule any task to another day. Once I complete a task, it's removed from the timeline view to reduce clutter and distraction and prevent it from becoming a long list of tasks that's difficult to navigate. We've covered the doing part of the system, now let's look at the knowledge management system. The first view here is the resources database. After I process my resources from the inbox view, I can send them to the to review section, where I consume the content and write down summaries and important bullet points. The other tab views are recent and favorites. Recent shows me all resources I added in the past week, while favorites shows resources I added to my favorites. If I want to see my favorite resources, such as links to study resources or business tools, I can easily create a more clickable gallery view. I just copy the link of this database, paste it, and create a link database view. Then I choose the gallery layout, hide the content preview, and show the URL property which will be clickable from the gallery view. Now I can easily click into my frequently visited sites in one click. Under the resources view, we have a gallery view of topics. Topics is how you organize your notes and resources. Topics can be a subject or matter that is broken down from an overarching area. So if personal finance is an area, we can have investment, budgeting, or taxes as topics. Topics can also be a side hobby or other interests that falls outside your areas of life. While these notes and resources are not relevant to you at the current stage of life, they might be in the near future. Hence capturing them and putting them under their relevant topics can help you retrieve them next time. Lastly, we have notebooks and notes. Notes and resources are completely different. The notes you write down from consuming a piece of resources is what you write under the respective resource page. A note created under the notes database is what you come up with and is not directly related to one resource but can be related to a few resources. Say you're trying to put together a set of abdominal exercises personalized for you and you saved a bunch of videos in your resources database. After reviewing these resources, you can then craft your set of exercises under the notes database. With notebooks, you can group related notes together so that you can easily see all related notes under the notebook page. Notebooks is an additional way to organize your notes besides linking it to related resources, projects, or tasks. If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned because I'll be sharing more about using Notion as a second brain. I will also be walking through my second brain from different perspectives such as a student, 
content creator, or business owner.